Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have Rising OS Android 13 ROM for Samsung Galaxy S8, S8 Plus and Note 8. Let's install this ROM on my Galaxy S8 Plus and we will see what we get in this ROM. If this is your first visit to my channel, please consider subscribing. Let's begin. Before we start, you need to have a rooted phone with TWRP recovery installed. If your phone is not rooted, I have a video to show you how to root. The link is in the description. Follow the instructions and when you are done, come back to this video. We need to download two zip files. Number one, the ROM zip file. Number two, G apps for Android 13. You will find the links in the description. Copy these files into your phone's SD card. This is important because we are going to wipe the internal storage. Now turn off your phone, press and hold volume up, Bixby and power buttons all at the same time to boot into recovery mode. Swipe to allow modifications. Click on wipe, format data, type yes to erase internal storage. Then go to advanced wipe, select cache and Dalvik cache, then swipe to wipe. Now click on install, select the ROM zip file. Click on add more zip. Select G apps, then swipe to flash. Installation is now complete. Let's reboot system. Remember, the first port will take some time, so don't panic. Now the phone has booted up. Going to settings. About phone. As you can see, this ROM is based on Android 13. Now let's see what you get in Android 13. Number 1. Advanced Clipboard When you copy text, you can edit the text straight from the clipboard before you paste. This will come in handy when you do not need the text in between or you want to make some changes. Number 2. Improved Security In previous versions of Android, every app that you installed had the access to send notifications by default. Now every app will ask you for your permission to send notifications. It is how it should be. Number 3. Aesthetics The animations and transitions are very smooth. You almost feel like you are using Google Pixel. When you go to wallpaper and style, you will notice the color schemes of the theme will match the tone of your wallpaper. Of course, you can change from the presets. This is a fresh change and or needed. Now let's see what we get in this ROM. We have a dedicated menu for custom features in settings. I will quickly run through these settings and show you the highlight features. In lock screen settings, you can turn on edge lighting and media cover art that will show up in lock screen when you are playing music. In miscellaneous menu, you have gaming mode and a bunch of settings which can enhance your gaming experience. You can change screen of animation. I like this creative style. Then you can turn on swipe to screenshot gesture. In notifications menu, you can enable clear all notification button. Then you can turn on flashlight for incoming calls. In quick settings, status bar and user interface menus, you get the standard customizations to change the layout. You need to bear in mind that for some reason Magisk is not working in this ROM. If you flash Magisk to gain root access, then you cannot unlock your screen. I had to boot into recovery mode and reflash the ROM and G app zip files to get this ROM working. Talking about performance. There is no lag and no heating issues for playing games. Benchmark score of this ROM is good. If having root access is not so important to you, then definitely you can try this ROM. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you are not. If you have any questions, please drop a comment. I will be happy to answer them. I will see you on the next one. Until next time, take care.